Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Greetings and God's peace from St. John's and Thomaston. This is a most peculiar and unique Easter this year, not being able to be physically with each other. It is a great sorrow for me not to be able to be with you, but it is a great blessing to find ways, new ways to communicate with each other. We have been deeply, deeply blessed in so many ways, and during this time we are being blessed in ways that I don't always understand, but I do know that God's grace is sufficient, is wonderful, and is blessing us in ways that are new every morning. May this Easter be one that is enriching to you, whether you be alone or whether you be with a few family members, that the power of God's grace may find ways to touch you and break through into a deeper way that we may know the love of God. This is the day that the Lord has made. It has opened for us ways that we never would have dreamed possible, nor might we ever have tried. But the Lord is making paths open that were not open before. God is stilling our hearts and bringing us to a place that is in a unique position to hear God's word. Let us not miss it. Let us go into the depths of our own being, into the tombs of our souls, where we might have left things for years, that we might have the deepest healing of God's grace when we hear the angel say, the Lord is risen. Go tell all of your life, all of your world, that the power of God is at work, that the healing grace of God is ready to be alive in you. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is an opportunity that we, sh we should not miss. This is a, a grace and a potential of wonder. Let this Easter be the one that has, brings awe and glory and perhaps even a change of heart, a change of mind, that our lives might be opened in ways that were never opened before. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you.